City Police Review Board continuing to investigate the officer-involved shooting that happened back in January on New Scotland Avenue. News 10 ABC's Spencer Tracy joining us live in the studio tonight with an update on that investigation as well as the condition of the man who was shot. Spencer. Solomon and Trishna, I spoke with Alice Green tonight, spokesperson for Jordan Young, who remains in police custody while in Albany Med. He's undergone several surgeries and is still in critical condition. Tonight, the Community Police Review Board held another public meeting, and they are still determining whether the officer's use of force was justified. Back in January, Albany police were initially called to Morris Street for a report of a home invasion with a gun. They say they stopped Jordan Young on New Scotland Avenue, where they saw him holding a knife to his dog's throat. An Albany police officer ultimately shot Young three times. Shortly after, the Albany Community Police Review Board decided to use their newly expanded authority to investigate. It's a continuation of, you know, trying to, um, you know, work everything out and make sure things go the way we want them to following um, Proposal 7. Proposal 7 gives the board the ability to conduct investigations with limited subpoena powers. Among the evidence they requested is a digital reconstruction of the events of that night, including electronic data from Jordan Young's cell phone and access to police accounts of what led up to the decision to shoot Young. They're hoping to use this investigation to improve policing policies across the board. We do have a um, meeting with APD leadership. We talked, um, you know, as a board about how things have been um, handled with the transition to um, our new powers with um, Proposal 7. Young was arraigned from his hospital bed in late February and was charged with criminal possession of a weapon and menacing. Young's attorney says he's receiving mental health treatment and was off his medication the night of the shooting. So the CBRB are expected to meet the Albany Police Department next Friday. Well, they will go over their investigation as well as next steps in their process. We'll keep you updated, of course, on air and online. Reporting live in studio tonight, I'm Spencer Tracy, News 10 ABC.